Why is the pump behind the liner, you may ask? Hydrostatic pressure. <laughs> Zach's been working his butt off and we'd like to Lunch give time. him a little like break, you know? Because he's been working late days because he's with the Brian Jack team. And they know what right. that means. And you know what that means? Long hours. Long hours. <laughs> but first thing is figure out the pumps. And I don't know the answer yet, so stay tuned. <laughs> right? Yep. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brian with Team Aquascape. This is the beginning of a very, very special week. It is the beginning of June and about five, six months ago, we put out to all of our local CACs, not local, CACs across the country, that if you would like to come work with us, sign up and pick a date and you can come out and work with us for a week. And we thought we'd get a few people that would say yes. Hey, that sounds like fun. We had an overwhelming response. So we've got 10 people a week coming out to work with us from now till the end of November or whenever the snow comes in and the very first day it's raining you can't really tell but like there's the pond you can see the raindrops if I look up I might get one in my eye <laughs> it's kind of a steady steady little drizzle but we're here on a very very exciting project out here in Geneva Illinois and I'm excited to do this project because the last time I was out here was about seven years ago and I remember vividly designing this thing and we're gonna take it to a whole new level so let me show you what they've got and then I'll show you what we're gonna do so really cool I'm sitting in a really nice kind of pergola area here pergola was designed to come right over the pond they have some fun stepping stones that bring them down a staircase and over to the pond over here I want to fix up that staircase we didn't do much with that but we're gonna fix that staircase up fix some drainage stuff over in there rip out a couple of these bushes they're gonna get an upper pond over there with some waterfalls that tie into this stream back in through here there's a big waterfall here there's another one that comes through those junipers over here that's faced more up towards the house so we're gonna get that pool to kind of come in from up in here and it's actually gonna start all the way back here behind this grass area so we're gonna have an upper pond that comes this way waterfalls that come down tie into this stream and and then redo some of the rock work in here. Not that I mind the way that waterfall looks, we'll probably leave all that, but just kind of change the shape of this pool a little bit. The other thing we're gonna do, we come back down into our main viewing area where they literally live all summer long, is take advantage of this big slope over here where Jack and Zach are. So we're gonna start a waterfall way up at the top over here, coming down into a wetland filter and then take advantage of this big slope, bringing the waterfalls in someplace right in here. So so it should be a ton of fun, a lot of work, and we've got some great guys. Hey, Zach, introduce yourself. Hey, Zach Clyden from Indianapolis, Indiana, owner of Majestic Water Gardens. Here for the week to help out Team Aquascape. Awesome, can't wait. We need it too, huh, Jack? Yeah, we do. Because I don't think the two of us can pull this off. Nope. And then Chris has got the Frisbees out there, Lee Frisbee and his whole crew out there, and they're working on a small project. They're doing a really cool project, but ours, I think, is slightly cooler. I think yes. so. All right, so you guys hang on tight. We're gonna take you on a fun ride on this project. I'm guessing it's gonna take us a little over two weeks, but we'll see. Here we go. All right, things are coming along. First things first, we gotta get that pond drained and cleaned. So you can see, we've got that whole thing drained and everything out. So we've got our tubs set up, Jack's down there power washing. It's actually not that dirty. I mean, it's pretty dirty. It hasn't been cleaned in, in several years and he had some large, large fish in there. There was no filter mats up in the biofalls. There's a lot of like a loamy type stuff down there, but really at high it's like not too bad. You can see Jack just kind of arranging some of the water lilies down there, making sure as he's power washing, he doesn't damage those. The other thing we're gonna do because water's not gonna be back in here for a while is then cover that with a lighter fabric. And as long as we keep that light fabric saturated, those lilies can survive for a few days that way. Come over here, let me show you the fish tubs. He actually had about 50 plus fish in there and some really nice koi babies, which I'll show you in a little bit. But he's probably got four or five large guys. He's probably got a dozen goldfish and maybe two dozen baby koi in here. We'll show you when we put those guys back in. I'm gonna sneak this machine down the hillside and rip out some of these rocks along the edge of the pond where our waterfall is gonna come in while Jack continues to power wash. And this is exactly why we only have two guys out here right now, well three, because we just don't have enough work for everybody. Alright, 
So there's Zach cutting out the old plumbing. We're gonna replace this skimmer. We're gonna change this whole plumbing configuration over here. It looks like the skimmer box feeds that waterfall there. This vault feeds jets that are underneath the deck, which I think have been abandoned. We're gonna go back and see if we can't get those things working again. And then it has another line that wrapped all the way around underneath this way and over to that spillway over there. Not sure why we did it that way. You would think it would just be easier to run both lines in the same trench around to there and there, but whatever. We were young and didn't know exactly what we were thinking back then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead, get all that figured out. We're gonna pull this skimmer box out. There's even an overflow in here that runs. It must go super deep and out that way someplace. So we're gonna have to figure that out, cut that out. We're gonna get a new skimmer box in here. The skimmer box has obviously been updated since the last time we put these in. We'll get them the new skimmer box and then we're gonna pull out these rocks. Once we get this rock, this rock, this rock, that rock out, then we can kind of start seeing what's going on. And of course, as we started digging, we found old drainage lines. There's concrete lighting in here, a concrete post just sits right there. There's another concrete post over there. I have no idea what those are to. I really can't even imagine. Maybe it was some kind of old staircase or something that came down. Maybe there was a deck or something that sat over here at one point. There was a pool over here long, long ago. So maybe it was some kind of deck. I have no idea. But like always, we've got our obstacles. And if it were easy, everybody would do it. But it's not. It's not. It's not. So we'll get through this and then we'll get this all shaped out. And you guys just keep trying to envision a really cool waterfall coming down in here. As we discover more problems, we'll make sure we share them with you. Yes, we will. Right there, Jackie boy? Yes, we will. There Why is the pump behind the liner, you may ask? Hydrostatic pressure. <laughs> but really, why is it behind the liner? Like, what happened? Last night, we got some rain. Yeah. And with the pond being empty, all that water wanted to go underneath the liner and create a bubble under there. And that's where we have to be working today, <laughs> unfortunately. So we're trying to pump all that water out right now and get that liner nice and flat so we can throw our aqua blocks in here. Because right now, we're going to be working on a makeshift intake bay in this area. Because we have three pumps in this pond. Right now, we have one pump vault in here, and we're going to be adding another pump vault plus a skimmer. And so with all that, we kind of have to throw some aqua blocks in and kind of make an area where it's gonna be easy accessible for him to kind of move all the debris out of here and easily access these pumps. Awesome. So yesterday, I don't know if you guys can see all this stuff. Like, <laughs> Brian in the excavator had a field day yesterday with finding every utility possible coming through here. There's an irrigation line that's cut. We've got a three inch pipe and a two inch pipe. One goes that way. You can see it up there and it feeds the waterfall over in that space. This three inch pipe goes around, feeds the biofalls over there. This gas line, luckily was an old gas line to the swimming pool that used to sit in this spot. But I did also hit the electric right there that also feeds all the power to the pumps and everything over in here so you name it i found it we got it we also hit if you can see over there the downspout drainage that comes off the corner of the house and that's really what caused so much of the water back down and behind this so all that rain last night off of that roof line came down out of that down through here created a muddy mess went underneath this and we'll blame it on jack yeah I get right it's really that. your fault i know <laughs> so like jack Jack said, we've got a busy day today and really it's just gonna be trying to figure out an easy way to rework the pump situation over here without aesthetically hurting the way the water goes underneath this deck. You can see this deck is supported by this giant boulder right in here and everything's like this whole side of it's down on this area here. The reason we did that is so we could really get that deck cantilevered out over the water. I don't wanna bring the pumps out too much further this way because that would stop the fish from 
wanting to go in through here. We're also going to check out all the lights and redo whatever lighting we possibly need to redo and make sure he's set up to have a gorgeous pond when we fill this thing back up. Once we finish the pumping situation down in here, then we can actually start setting some of this rock that's back over here into this place into here. But first thing is figure out the pumps. And I don't know the answer yet, so stay tuned. <laughs> Right? Yep. Yep. The suspense yeah. must be killing you and me. It's killing. It's killing us. Definitely, you guys can definitely our viewers. Can skip through. <laughs> Hey y'all. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like I should say hey y'all, but I did. Today's hopefully gonna be a productive day. This job has been nothing but obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, weather after weather after weather. And today I think we'll actually show a little bit of progress. You can see Zach over here. He's pumping water out from behind the liner. We have a leaky irrigation system, I think someplace that just keeps dumping it in and we can't find the culprit to that pipe that continues to go back in there. But we've got our skimmer set back in there we've got frame rocks for a waterfall that's coming in right in here so big rock big rock one rock there today my goal is to start digging back up into this hillside starting to create that those other cascades as they come down visible from this area and I also want to button up the whole skimmer area get rocks and stuff set back in there Jack and Zach the Jack Zach team are working on finishing the underwater lights and getting this all buttoned up in here so we can start filling this pond you can see our pumping system down here, which is kind of chaotic, I guess. But we've got a skimmer with boulders in it to keep it from floating because of the, the groundwater. We're actually gonna come in here and stake this down a little bit later. We've got two pump vaults and we have all of this because we have four pumps. I'm gonna put a smaller pump inside the skimmer box. We're gonna use an aqua surge with a screen on it that's gonna feed the jets that sit underneath this deck. We're gonna put a five to nine in this vault that goes to that existing three inch pipe over there, which feeds that waterfall. Then we have to snake that pipe back down and around over into here tied in here and then we have another pump that goes into here that's going to feed one over there and then so on and so on i think all that made sense so busy busy day we also want to try to get the fish back inside this pond by the end of the day we want to do all of this by 2 30 3 o'clock we're shooting for that right zach's been working his butt off and we'd like to Much give time. him a little like break you know because <laughs> he's been working late days because he's with the brian jack team and they know what right? that means and you know that means long hours long hours <laughs> all right guys wish us luck we'll see how far we get sun is out everything's working in our favor today so hopefully we can keep moving here we go 